There's this lady, uh, this 23 year old. She actually died in a hospital um, after having an abortion uh, due to uh, what they're assuming is from the actual abortion itself. So, like I said, this is a 23 year old woman died in a hospital in San, San Martin in the Argentinian province of Mendoza last Sunday, four days after having undergone a legal abortion in the neighboring town of La Paz. And then her name was uh, Maria del Gonzalez Lopez. Uh, her death was attributed to a hemorrhage and a general uh, septicemia. And according to what is known of the, at least from the autopsy report. Now, the judicial investigations are underway to determine whether her death was related to the abortion or whether she fell victim to medical malpractice. But what is known is that she was a rising figure in the pro-abortion Union Civica Radical, a historic Argentinian left-wing party affiliated with the Socialist International, having been elected last year as president of the youth section of the radicals in La Paz. So... What we're talking about here is a situation where that is obviously tragic. It's not a good thing. Of course, I don't think there's anybody on planet Earth that's like, oh, yeah, she deserved to die. Like, that's horrible. We should never say that. The point still is the same, though. What we're talking about is a situation where somebody was advocating heavily and, and, and heavily involved in these far left things saying that abortion, abortion, abortion. You must be allowed to have abortions on demand whenever you want, no matter what. And then when something takes place where she basically dies from having an abortion, all of a sudden, you're going to see silence from the party she was associated with. You're going to see silence from all Democrats. You're going to see silence from any of those people because they don't want to acknowledge what's happening here. They don't want to acknowledge the reality that having these abortions is dangerous for the women as well. They don't want there to be any risks associated with having an abortion or at least that to be broadcasted to people. That's the problem. That's one of the things that many conservatives have been trying to fight for is transparency, is that these organizations are not talking about the dangers to the women. They're not talking about this stuff. And the problem is, is that Democrats don't care about the dangers to women. There was there's so many laws that have been overturned and taken away that would have merely provided more safe means for women to do it that have been turned down because Democrats are more concerned about getting the numbers up than they are about actually having it be safer for the women. There's many of them that weren't sterilizing their tools. There's many of them that uh, that many say still don't have admitting privileges to a local hospital. So if something does go wrong, they don't even have the ability to bring that person, that woman, to an actual hospital to even recover properly with doctors that are competent enough to deal with emergency situations. That is and should be very alarming to people. And obviously this is in a different country. But the point still is the same, is that any of these incidents, Democrats don't want you to hear about it. They don't want you to know about it because they're trying to cover for it. They don't want the risk to be a, a known uh, in this situation. They don't want people to know that. They want people to only see how easy it is, how fast and quick it is. Meanwhile, lying to your face about what the reality of the situation is as well. You just watched a clip from the William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.